Welcome to part two of our Fiordland story. The team had enjoyed great fishing for blue cod and trumpeter, but Fiordland has something else to offer, tuna. Both albacore and southern bluefin can be targeted from January until June. Southern bluefin like a water temperature of 12 degrees centigrade or less, but this year temperatures stayed much warmer. It didn't worry the albacore, but it did worry the bluefin. Still, you never know. Don't throw your rod tip down too fast. The trick is just to keep plenty of tension on. Wow. One minute there's nothing doing, and the next thing you get a double strike. Might be big albacore, Blake. Or little, little bluefin. Yeah, 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 I'm under you anyway, but I think we're, uh, we're united. Yeah, just, just as long as you keep tension on, mate, just take your time. We'll just work this one out. This one's sort of like here. Yeah. Uh, I'll just get this. this game is won or lost at the boat, really. There might be a little blues, mate. Blake the skipper had to steer, lead the fish and gaff. The other guys were all off diving. Although we expected albacore, you sometimes can't tell what you've got until the fish hits the deck. Beautiful! Yes, Woohoo! Woo Bluefin! Shit hot! Great! That's what we came for! Fantastic, man! <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, hold him, Angler. <laughs> yeah, good work, eh? That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, not a huge fish. No. Just get you out of the sun a bit so we can see him, that's the way. Beautiful, eh? Southern bluefin tuna. Magic, man, who would have thought, eh? <laughs> Double bloody strike and you get a couple. Can you believe it? You just take your time with that one. Woo! Yeah, I can give you a bit of a hand, actually. Can't even leave, leave him in the water. Woo! Awesome! Keeping the weight on. Look at that! Yeah! Look at his bloody... So. I was asleep. We're just kicking back, lying back. Been quietly cruising along the coast. Man's having a bit of a zizz. Double strike. Boomfer. Awesome. That's the way, mate. Not that big. Just a couple of reasonably important things, mate. The trick is to follow your fish. When the fish gets close, yep. follow the line. For example, if the fish comes across to the other quarter on the stern here, you walk across. With it. Right, yep. So you just keep your angle straight down. Yep. Peter Shaw had never caught a game fish. It was his birthday, and he was due for a couple of pretty special presents, care of the Fiordland Coast. Look here. Uh, here he is, yep. I can, I can see him. If you just go that way, I'd be happy. Get over there, Hummel. No, no, yeah, it's ready for Blake. Yep. Here comes the gear. Here's the gear, Freddy. Okay. Whoa! Yes! Look at that! Woohoo! Yeah! You better hold it, baby. Yeti! Get in here, Blake. You're gonna have no. this. Come on. Awesome. I'm gonna drop it. Hold on, Yeti! Look at this, man. <laughs> oh! Well, well done. done! Excellent, Skipper! Well done! Well points. At the end of our first day's game fishing, we rendezvoused with the power divers in Charles Sound. One small bluefin tuna was a great surprise, but were there others? Everyone was telling us that the water temperature was way too warm. The dolphins accompanied us on a late evening run near the mouth of the sound. The evening was perfection. The sun dragged its orange blanket over the horizon and called it a day. It looked good for tomorrow. How good Ian and Peter were soon to find out. Woo. Going. Going. This might be right. bigger than an albacore. Yeah, this is, this is a heavier fish. Much heavier fish. Ooh, see what we got. Hey, matey, look. We've got a bluey. Hey? We've got a bluey. 
This thing's flying. Is it? Yep. Yep. Louis? Yep. It's got to be. I bet it's not. What's a dollar on it? I tell you what, it's worth keeping, isn't it? Maybe what we've come here for. Look at this thing go. Is he off again? Oh, good, it might be a double of blue fins. Yeah, hot. Thank you. No, he doesn't like that. Eh? He doesn't like that. He no, doesn't well, like coming good. this way. Unbelievable. We come out at daylight and catch a couple of albacore and then we get a double hook up and initially it sounds like a couple of albacore pulling string and then suddenly it gets very tough. Go back there again. He's working away, this guy. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. When there's nothing happening, Pete, don't worry about winding. Yeah. You're just holding the tension, you just relax. Because you might need all the little bits of muscle and stamina <laughs> and stuff by the look of that fish. Oh, that was uh, Squip's uh, breakfast. You know what we'll do, Pete? We'll, we'll put the harness on you too. Squip's breakfast picked it up, so I'm yeah. right. Yeah. Look at this one out here, Squigger. He's right on the surface. Good stuff. Cool. <laughs> Starting to warm up. Okay. It's not an Elby then. <laughs> no, it's not Elby. It's the monster. It's the uh, biggest Elby you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> well, like, the world you know record the, is about 48k. Um, right here, hun. Yeah. It's just on the other side Sorry. of the room. But this way, what we'll do. Your line's getting down. I'm down to the heavy grunt work here. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, yeah, there's a good fish. That's a good fish, Grizzler. Hey, put your hand under the fork grip like that, just use your thumb. You'll find it a hell of a lot easier. Oh, I think he's a good fish. That is a beautiful fish, Grizzler. So is this. Let us know what's happening. Just waiting. Right. Oh, no! Gone! Gone, gone, gone. gone. Oh, bugger! Right there. That was a good fish. Mate! Bugger me. Bugger. <laughs> Have a look at how close to the coast this battle is taking place. With one fish already free, we were starting to feel the pressure. How's it going, Pete? He's coming in slow. I don't think I want to bug with the fish. That is a very, very good fish. Feels it. Go, 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 go. What you're doing is really good. Now, the things to remember, Fred, are like the swivel to the rod tip. And just back the drag down about a centimetre once that um, fish comes up. Yep. And once that lead is right up there, you walk backwards so the guys can get it. Yep. So you walk back just a metre or so so the guys can work in front of you. But can they be trusted? <laughs> this is what we're about to find out. There's a pole right behind yeah, the back. Get ready, you're going to get a lot of line back, mate. Get ready, go, 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 go. Now you stay where you are, you're fine. Get ready, go, go, go. The thing is that uh, anglers reckon they catch the fish. Well, they do their part. Skipper's got to do the skipper's part. Decky's got to do the decky's part and lead of the fish. The gaff man's got to do the gaff job. So it's the best team sport I know. I've only seen it on TV. <laughs> well, guess what? You've seen it on TV. Yeah. <laughs> You're it. <laughs> Hold him, hold him, hold him, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in, holy hell, well done, 
fishing for southern bluefin tuna is all about. We had two of those guys on, lost one, and Pete's now got that. Unreal. 50 minutes, was it? Man, that's a stubborn hard fish that. And they haven't been catching anything. We had the little guy yesterday, we had the big one today. You've got to come and have a crack at this. Smile. Have to smile. You'll more of those because that is just Dirty, special, great man. Great fish. Oh, Excellent. Beauty. <laughs> 